Hello and welcome to this week's edition of Wednesday Web Chat. This is Carl Lewis, your host. Uh, today we are going to take a look at two new features, uh, a journal entry import from Excel and a change log cleanup utility. So uh, those two things will be on our agenda. Our time together won't be long, but uh, we'll keep revealing all of these new features in 9.3. About every other week I'll be able to uh, dig in and discover a couple more and share them with you along the way here. First off, we're going to take a look at that new um, change log cleanup utility. Now, the change log in Business One, if you're not familiar, is where all of the details about the transactions historically in the system are kept. And the change log tables all start with an A if you look in the database. Over time, they can get quite large. And uh, finally, we have a utility that says, you know what, I don't need, I've been running Business One for 14 years, I don't need 14 years of transactional history. When, when did it happen? Who did it? What was it before? What did they change? All of those sorts of details, especially on you know, sales orders, invoices that were closed a decade ago. It's no longer necessary for me to keep that detailed data um, in the change logs. Now that doesn't mean if I clean up the change logs that the actual invoice wouldn't be there or all this history of what it came from and the customer records and all of that, that's all still there. It's just the detail of the change log. Right? But I just talked to a customer yesterday whose change log table is over 100 gigabytes. And when that happens, the system can slow down dramatically. So finally we have a utility to kind of clean that up and bring it down to a respectable size, which could greatly help with the productivity of the system. So where it's located is in the administration menu and under the utilities menu. And in 9.3, you'll now see this little change log cleanup utility. And it's pretty easy to use. You really have to decide how old I want the history to be, first of all, right? And uh, you can give it your own unique name if you like, or use the defaults. If uh, I want the uh, history to um, be cleaned out up until a certain date, I can pick that date. So I could say if I only wanted the year 2017, you know, I could uh, put in 12-12-2017. Uh, 